um, as you can see there they it is covered in moss with the uh, barks um, please please give me some root please god damn it oh my god I'm sorry I screamed but I'm so excited oh my god you guys Good afternoon everyone, as you can see that I have a sea of anthurium and philodendron. They were from the very first import that I got from Ecuador, which I made a video about unboxing them um, just exactly one month ago. So if you haven't checked out that video, please feel free to go check it out to see what I got and a, the improvement of them uh, been under my care after one month. Um, so today I am gonna go through one by one and I'm gonna show you how much they have grown in the last month So as you can see I have my potting mat ready to go. Let's go with the most beautiful one So far I'm talking about root wise and growth wise. Let me just put on some gloss. Also this I would say more like a repotting video um, kind of like you know answering some of your questions. I do receive a few questions over the last couple of days and I would like to go over and address them with you as well. Today I am, some of them I'm not actually gonna even report them because of how much they love the medium that I made when I uh, do the video rehabbing imported plants. They love the medium that they were in and they um, throw out a bunch of roots like you can see. Um, I'm so sorry. This is actually my um, dark form crystallinum anthurium. Isn't it stunning? I love it. And um, honestly, this is one of the easiest anthurium that I had so far. It gave me no issues whatsoever at all. I don't know if you can see. Do you see those roots right here? Yep, right there as well it's fantastic like this has to be one of my um, top 10 favorite anthurium next one i'm gonna keep doing with the anthurium so if you remember this is my um, silver line crystallinum anthurium and it it's been growing very consistently for me this is the root system of it you can see at the bottom and there's a lot more in the middle as well I don't know if it, if it show up in the camera or not um, and let's see it's giving me this little area root right here where's that right there where my finger was I love it I absolutely love this silver lining crystalline amethyrium my next is the King Anthurium. I had a couple of them. I think I ordered like five and I got, I think I got four instead of five. So that was fine. That was fine. So this is one of them. Um, this is one of the biggest one that I had in the collection. And look at it. Do you see that? That's the new leaf. And then this one is also a new leaf as well, like how shining that is and how small and cute that is. That, that is. Um, it's very consistently giving me great, great, great growth. Um, and there is some new growth point right there. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. There is a lot of um, new area roots shooting from the from the stem, and same story, same medium. You know, just spatnum moss, some barks, and uh, left hand that I did in that video. With this one, because if you don't, if you remember, there was no root at all um, when it came in on the stem, so there was just literally a stem with no root whatsoever. However, obviously it's loving it, that's why it's giving me all these new growth, uh, new, new leaves, 
a new root, new area root and stuff like that. So I'm not even gonna bother it. Let's just, I'm just gonna let it be. And it's in this orchid pot, which I, which is really loves it. I, that's why I noticed Anthurium, they love these orchid pots because of the airflow, the oxygen, and it dry out their medium a lot faster. So they're loving it. Since I'm already doing King Anthurium, so I'm just gonna keep doing it because they're all pretty much about the same. Um, these are two plants in one pot right here and um, look at all the muscles on it can you see oh my god it's shining it's beautiful that's a new growth on one of the plant and then that's another new growth on the second plant as well i forgot to mention that one was the narrow form and let me show you what the wide form anthurium would look like and this is gonna be it this is the wide form king anthurium um and that is its new growth right there which one do i love more between the white form or the narrow form and is there any massive difference between them um with this one actually i can start to see the root system started to form right here when this one first came in it actually came in with a little bit of roots uh, with it and uh, there was no stem. It was actually just anthurium with uh, a little bit of roots. And uh, they obviously started to form a, a bit more roots faster than the, 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 um, the narrow form. My next anthurium, it's gonna be the Forgetii. And I believe this is the Forgetii dark form right here. How stunning that leaf is. And this is the brand new rose brand new leaf um that's that and oh my god look at the root system on this one she is wild it's insane it is absolutely insane how much root has been giving me and look there's one actually poking out at the bottom right here trying to escape um, I think, you know what, I think I'm gonna start repotting this into a bigger pot because it seems like she is like living her life with all these new area roots right here started to reach out. I am loving it. Honestly, absolutely adore it. Um, so let's leave it aside so that, you know, once I make a mess, I'm gonna make a huge mess. My next anthurium would be the Anthurium villanarum, I think that's what it's called. If I'm mistaken, I'm gonna put the name down below so you can have a look at it. Definitely one of my uh, favorite Anthurium as well. And check out its new growth. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, the leaf had some crooked damage during shipping right here, which is an, honestly not that big of a deal. It's, you know, it happens and I just love the stem. Um, it's like triangle shape to it. Very unique, very different. And it is one of the easiest in three in my, under my care as well. I have no complaint or problem with it whatsoever since I had it. The root system is very uh, great. I can't remember whether it came in with that great root system or not, but it's been giving me new roots left and right. And I am living for it. That's the bottom of it. Yeah, that's the new, new roots right there as well. And some, uh, there's a bunch of them right here in the middle of the pot. Okay, next one. I don't know. I, I honestly, I am so impressed with the uh, Regali. I absolutely love it. Um, Look at it, it's stunning. I am speechless of how beautiful it is, to be honest with you. Beautiful, look at the, uh, the, the leaf lobe on it. It's almost like it's kissing or touching each other. Gorgeous, gorgeous one. And this is one, um, I, would, I wouldn't say this is one of the easiest ones, but yeah, it's easy enough for me. In this one in particular, because I have three in my collection. And, um, this particular one did the best for me, the other two did not do so great, which I'm going to show you later. 
the root system on this one. Look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it's giving me all the roots. But yeah, let's look at all these roots, guys. It is beautiful. And it's giving me out some uh, new area roots right there as well. Let me check to see if they have any new growth points. Oh my god, yes! There is a new growth point, right? Ah, uh, it's so hard to see. Not sure if you can see that, but it's right in there. It's green and it's going to be a new leaf soon. So I'm very excited. I'll just let it be. Not going to bother it. My next one would be the Regali. So you see what I mean? This Regali already looked slightly different with the previous one. The um, the, uh, the vein on it doesn't look as as uh, vibrant as the other one and also the color. I mean the color on this one started to look a little bit worse than uh, when, once it got here. This is a uh, medium size and the earlobe is a little bit wider than the previous one which I'm not a fan of to be honest with you. I like them to be tight and close to um, each other but and then you're gonna notice that they have a lot of these um, yellow yellowing and browning spots from my understanding is that I don't know if this is truth or it's just a myth but a lot of the anthurium came out of Ecuador there's a virus a fungal I don't know if this anthurium uh, have been affected by it or not um, or this could just be simply because of the transit, they are losing its beauty. I don't know. Unfortunately, I cannot speak to them to know what is going on. The thing that I know for sure is that it's still very healthy and it's giving me a lot of roots right here. It doesn't give out that much roots like the, 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 the first anthurium that I just re showed to you. However, it's still healthy and I just pulled the leaf cover down and I do notice that it actually has a new growth, um, new leaves coming out as well. Very young. Um, it's going to be tricky to show on the camera, but you know what I mean. And uh, so yeah, I'm very pleased with this one. The root seems to be very healthy and that's the main point guys. Honestly, with imported plants, things can go south really quickly. The only thing that you wish is that it has a great root system because leaves can regrow very fast and it's gonna be beautiful again uh, once it's dropped. So don't stress out, don't panic, it's fine. You know, it's just nature does its thing. So don't worry about it. <laughs> we went through all the good ones. So now let's talk about the bad one. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the third anthurium that I had. And funnily enough, this was actually the best one out of the three ones if for, once it comes to, to, um, to my hands. This was the best looking one, but now look at it. Look how sad it is. And this is what I'm talking about with imported plants. Things can go south rather quickly. So, and um, it actually has some root rot problem as well. I think I did show uh, on camera um, when I did the rehabbing imported plants how the root system uh, looked and it looked actually quite great. It does have a little bit of rot. I did spray with uh, uh, a hydrogen peroxide diluted with water. I did spray around, cut off the, the uh, rotted part. Two weeks later, I, I, I checked it and the, the rot prop issues actually got worse. So then I had to um, take it out of moss, the medium it was in, and then redo the whole thing. So I cut back a lot of root system on this one, um, just leaving all the healthy roots. So that has been over two weeks, a little bit over two weeks now. And it came in with a really big stump right here. And every time when I water it, I make sure that I feel the stump, make sure that it's not mushy or, um, you know, became a little bit yucky. The stem is still very green. Um, and look at the base of it. It's still firm. There's no sign of, um, of, of, of rot or mushy yet. But let me take this off. 
um, out of the pot so that I can see how the roots are improving because it's been two weeks since I trim it all off. Not all of them, but most of the roots off and spray them with a hydrogen peroxide diluted with water. And um, so let's see if there are any improvement. As I said, there were barely to no roots. So this thing is completely off. You see that? That's what happened when it's rot. And then that is done as well. That's done. Um, well, I guess I should be very happy in the sense that the rot did not cause um, so much problem, I would say. I mean, the whole thing is still very healthy. This main stem right here is still very firm. Um, so I don't think that the rot issues got that far. What I would do is that I would just put it back into the um, net pot. So net pot is actually great for root rot problem because obviously all the oxygen this can actually bring in more oxygen than even the orchid pot. So that's why I chose to put this in um, the net pot. This one definitely need a lot of time to rehab and that is fine. I will give it all the time that it needs, which is a shame really because, you know, you kind of expect to the, the best uh, from your plants and one is not doing great. It's, it's, um, it's a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but you know what? It is what it is. I do have a great regalia is doing fabulous. Well, one and a half. The other one is it's also doing great, but not just as great as the first one. So I would say one and a half, but whatever. Okay, are you ready for the worst of the worst? None other than the other is the uh, Queen Anthurium. Look how sad she is. Like, what is this? Honestly, this is one of the saddest looking thing I have ever seen and I gave her the best location in my IKEA's cabinet giving her all the moisture all the care that she wanted But she is not loving me and I am done loving her as well I mean there are tons of other better plans and I'm actually done with Queen Anthurium. I don't have time and energy and positive vibe for this um, fuzzy plant, but let's take her out to see what is going on um, because obviously if there is some root there's still a chance you know so let's see the reason why you notice that the the moss is a little bit wet is just because I actually just watered her yesterday so you know the moisture is still there so that's why the moss is still a bit wet um, I don't see oh wait hang on there may be some roots guy, maybe, there may be, I don't know about this. Yeah, no, I mean, is it dead? It, no, I don't think it's dead. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. It's rotted. <laughs> And it is rotted, like when I squeeze it, it's very mushy. Um, I, oh my God, th no, actually the whole thing is done. The whole thing is very soft and it's almost like air back when, you, when I squeeze it in. Um, there's no, yeah, when I touch it, the root just came off my hands or the fiber just came off. So on a scale 1 to 10, unfortunately, I have to give this a, a 2. Yeah, I have to give it a 2. I'm very disappointed uh, ordering this Queen Anthurium. And I, I believe it was a, a dark form Queen Anthurium. Yeah. But what can you do? It's part of imported plants and um, I took the risk. So I just got to leave with my decision. Um, what am I going to do with this? I don't know. I mean, I prayed to the high Lord up there that there could be a miracle. Yeah, please be a miracle. 
Um, because it's still green. Because it's still green right there. So that's why I think, I, I think that there's still a chance, which I don't think that will be a very high chance, but I don't know. What can I do? I mean, it was 50 US dollars. Um, well, changing to Canadian dollars, it was almost like $70. Am I willing to throw $70 in the trash? Probably not. So we'll see, we'll see. I had some miracle actually happened before that some plans just died and then I ignore it and then it came back to life. I highly doubt that the queen gonna do the same, but you know, if there's a green, there's a hope. <laughs> so let's just put her back. And same thing with this one as well. I mean, if that one had three leaves on it and it looked that sad, I highly doubt that this one gonna make any difference to be honest with you. Um, a quick glance around the pot, it doesn't seem like there's any root. Um, so chances are that the root are toast as well. S let's uh, take it off the moss so we can see it better. Mm. The hell is this? Would you look at this? What the hell is going on here? Oh my God, I am so disappointed. Yeah, no, I thought that was a, um, maybe, maybe there was a growth point, but honestly, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually just gonna put them both in together in the same pot to save some space because why should I have two dead plants in two different pots while there are much better plants out there need the space uh, in my cabinet because obviously IKEA cabinet, they're not the largest, you know, so every um, inches count. Yeah, every inches count. <laughs> all right, so we are done with all the anthurium, thanks God. And now let's get to the fun, um, fun part, which is the uh, philodendron. Who loves philodendron? Because I do.